So, after showing you the freehand automatic watch, it's now a pleasure for me to introduce the chronograph in the Prügge Marine line. Um, the first thing uh, you see, or the first thing, the first chrono you see, chronograph you see in the picture is the execution in white gold um, with the typical blue, the blue that is uh, so uh, linked with uh, the brand Brugge. Uh, you see I even wear blue gloves, they are original Brugge gloves, the tray is blue, so it's really blue is uh, the color of Brugge and I, it's gorgeous it's simply gorgeous and once again you have a um, uh, you have an engine turned hand uh, engine turned guilloche uh, white gold dial um, that you see uh, you see that typical palm hands that have been brought into a modern design super luminova is applied uh, to make them shine when it is dark there's super luminova also applied in the roman numerals these days so really Prague did a lot of work to make the watch look more modern and one thing I like to mention is if you please look at the gorgeous matching blue color of the date the date is indicated exactly in the same color as the rest of the dial and I, I have to I have to say that sometimes I get watches or I see watches even from well-known and renowned companies or manufacturers that don't have such an aisle, don't take uh, so much attention to such little details as Brage did and this is really fantastic because imagine you're looking on the, on the dial of your watch and you see the date and the color of the date disc is not 100% matching the color of the dial. You would be, every time when you look on a watch you would say, oh there's a little flaw I see, I don't like that, but not at Brage, they are doing it really perfectly. The same again here, the case with that typical flute design here taken from the old pocket watches uh, to prevent them to slide out of your hand then you have the new crown the big crown that is really matching and perfectly fitting now to the modern design um, you see the push buttons that are also in a little bit in a wave design to start stop and reset the chronograph and of course the highlight is the movement as always at Brugge uh, it's an in-house chronograph movement with 48 hours power reserve and um, what I should mention that I should have already mentioned with the automatic watches that Brugge is using a silicon hairspring and also part of the Libre escapements are now made out of silicon. So it's introducing the moder modern technology of silicon that uh, makes the watch more anti-magnetic, protects the movement against magnetism, magnetic fields. It's uh, Impl implemented and used here so it's a mixture mixture of very traditional watchmaking with modern technologies to protect the watch against magnetic fields the uh, design of the the oscillating weight is uh, as uh, already you saw it with the automatic watch in the look of a steering wheel of a boat so very nice detail again and of course the finishing of that chronograph movement is high-end haute horlogerie you couldn't do better so you don't only see this uh, um, finishing being applied on the parts you see you can be sure if you would like to dismantle the movement I don't recommend you doing this but you could you would see that every single part of that movement has been decorated polished the angled angles of the edges have been broken so everything has been done and pushed to the limit so every screw is polished so you wouldn't find any part in that movement that is not finished with that attention so this is the execution in white gold and if you are more into red gold I put it just beside it you have a version in red gold with a silver dial it's of course again an 18 karat, 18 karat gold silver dial engine turned guilloche as we say and uh, again here if you have a look at the date you will see the the gray the light gray is exactly 100% matching the color of the dial so really big attention Brege paid a lot of attention to such details and if we have a closer look under the logo of Brege you will see them the numbers 
both watches are individually numbered. The white gold version carries 318 and uh, the red gold version 806. So these individual numbers belong to the watches. So if you buy the watch, uh, this will be your Brugge with your number. And uh, in case uh, once you should need to trace the watch, it will be easy because the number, that's a typical Brugge feature that all Brugge watches have since the very, very beginning of Abraham Louis Brugge and his watches. And good to see here the two differences in between the um, leather strap and the rubber strap. Um, some of you might say, oh yes, rubber is a cheap material. You can't wear such an expensive watch on a rubber strap. I disagree, guys. This watch should be worn on a rubber strap because I think uh, it is just part of the of, of what you buy. It's a perfect understatement. You get an old horlogerie, high-end watch. You, one could do better. And the rubber is really, well, it's an, a little, a little detail that I very much like. And if you plan to maybe uh, also wear the watch when you take a shower or maybe you want to go for a swim or something, the leather strap would not be the appropriate way of uh, using, be to be used. So I am more into these rubber straps as you see. So last but not least, to finish my little presentation of the chronograph of Brugge, the prices and uh, the price for both watches is 33,000 Swiss francs, including VAT here in Switzerland. So the red gold and the white gold version have the same price. And yep, this was the Proge Marine chronograph in the new modern execution. Thanks guys for watching my little presentation about the new Brugge Marine line. I hope you enjoy the video. In case you did, please don't forget to subscribe to our video channel and to like our videos. And if you have any questions or comments to make, please use the comment sections just underneath here. Thanks for watching and 